Welcome to the video, the Hutchinson gang are right here and it's Monday today, the 6th of January, so that means one thing, it's the girls' first day back at school. Olivia's just getting her hair done. Oh, what's that? Is that? That's, that's a picture of Dumbo. Picture of Dumbo, let's have a look. Oh, whoa, who are you going to show that to? Miss Harris. Miss Harris, this okay. This is from Miss Harris. Oh, very and nice. And Mummy says I'll accompany it to school. Okay, so we'll show the teacher. I bet she'll be very impressed. And that little one is, is that little bit is his hat. Oh, very nice. So I'm officially back at the gym today, full on this week. So it's going to be hectic because it's January. Tamara, are you looking forward to getting back to work? I am. I've actually got a shorter day today because I've got an appointment at the hospital. You'll oh, see yeah. that later. We've got a hospital scan. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the children and see how they're getting on with their swimming. So I actually am looking forward yeah, to it. Yeah, it should be good. I'm in for a busy, busy week. Um, I hope I've got this one's energy all week this week. Um, it's just that over Christmas you get so out of sync, you eat so much rubbish, you start going to bed just extremely late on a night. Getting up at yeah. like half six is hard. Your body clock is ruined, so this week is just always a tester, um, but I think we're going to be fine. Hi. Olivia's already wonderful hair. Olivia, are you looking forward to school? What painting have you got? Oh, whoa, that is super special. Are you going to tell me who those people are? Harry. Who's that? Harry Potter. Which one's Harry Potter? Yes. Hermione. Hermione and? Ron Weasley. Ron Weasley. Somebody's been watching Harry Potter. Right, we're all ready to leave. The girls are all ready for school. Say bye bye, everyone. Bye. 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 School drop off done. But there was a major problem. Tamara forgot to tell me that there was a training day at Scarlet School. So I got to school, there was no kids there. There was like one teacher in the classroom and it was so embarrassing. Scarlet cried, it was insane. So I had to quickly drop her off at Grandma and Grandad's so she's okay, but what a drama. Right, I've got to hurry up, get to the gym. I've got to train somebody and then I need to meet Tamara to go to the hospital. So I'll catch up with you soon. So we are at the hospital, um, this one just dragged along with me in the car, um, hitchhiking on the side of the road. Uh, so we are here for like another scan because this time, this pregnancy, um, Tamara needs more care and attention. So we've had scan number one which is at your 12 week scan and now you normally have then just a 20 week scan. Um, but this one I've been booked in for to just to make sure that I'm okay. It's nothing to worry about, but it's just so they can plan if anything needs to be done. Yeah, it's like to extra make sure care. we're safe. But um, yeah, we're gonna see what's going on. We're not really sure what's gonna happen no, today. Don't really what know. we're looking at. We don't get we don't know if we're gonna even see baby. No. But hopefully we are. We haven't actually had this one before in the past two no. pregnancies. So we don't know what's going on, but um, we will update you once we've been in there and seen what the situation is. Scan done. Oh, you saw I snuck some little footage inside the room there. Well, I, so, well luckily, everything is really, really good. Yeah. And Father's Day, so there's nothing on. The complication that we thought might be there wasn't at all. It was amazing. So I was a little bit nervous beforehand, but then as soon as we found out everything was fine, and we saw the baby, and the scan wasn't just a normal scan either, so it was really yeah, high was quality. So we saw baby yeah, really the heartbeat, clearly. You got to see a little glimpse of it in there. Oh. Um, really, really special so it was all very very good news so thank goodness we're so so pleased we've got wow. another few appointments to go yeah. on this month and then next month we find out the gender of the baby yeah the gender is coming Ooh. so comment so, down below yeah. if you think it's going to be a boy what do you think girl? it's going to be comment down below let us know what you think <laughs> it's going to be um i was looking then but i couldn't see anything but we will be finding out very, very soon, and obviously, gender reveal. So it's all mega exciting, but we are literally in such a good mood right now. It's always a little bit daunting going into a hospital, and you don't know what they're gonna say, and all these sort of intense checks. I mean, it's not too bad for me, but for Tamara, it's pretty intense. So, 
it's just nice to, to get really, really good news. But on the plus side, it does mean that I've taken some time off work for this, just in case anything else happened. Mm. So I'm gonna go pick up the girls from grandma's yeah. and spend the afternoon with the girls. Yeah, really nice. Right, I also need to head back to work, so I will catch you all later. See you soon. Bye. Just a quick check in. I'm just in the big room where my boot camp is kicking off tonight. It's going to be such a busy one because it's the first one of the year and it's January and everybody's back on their fitness goals. So it's going to be mega busy in here. This is where we do it. Pretty cool room, but I just wanted to check in with you and just sort of to let you know how I'm feeling really. I'm just feeling so up B after that scan earlier it was so special and it's amazing that what seeing the baby's heartbeat can do like I literally just I just couldn't help but smile and feel so so good so it's just literally lifted me for the whole day um, so it was an amazing scan I'm so so happy um, yeah tonight is gonna be a busy one I'm looking forward to it if you've got any fitness goals if you're kicking off your regime this week good luck just remember to stick it out give it time and the results will come but yeah all is good with me just a little check in I'll catch you when I get back home. Back from work, amazing boot camp group as you could just see. It was really good tonight, hectically bizarre. When I walked in the gym, it was like just a sea of people, every machine taken. I couldn't even go up to the weights area because there were just people everywhere doing strange exercises. But that's what you get in the gym in January. I'm just about to have some dinner. Tamara is in here preparing her meal. Um, she's doing her intensive skincare routine right there. Oh no, I'm, um, I'm struggling with my skin. <laughs> so, uh, Big intense skin routine. Well, my skin's a bit bad. It always does in pregnancy, doesn't it? So. It's yeah. got a bit bad. That's so all. Awesome. The secret is, guys, it's toothpaste. It's not toothpaste. Toothpaste. It's Sudacrem. <laughs> Sudacrem's really Sudacrem. good. If you don't know about it. Sudacrem is yeah. really good. Thinly spread on your face. Yeah, there really we go. Good. You heard it here first. Sudacrem. That's the way forward. So I just thought I'd let you inside on. What I did it a little bit before Christmas, but I'm carrying it on because I actually felt like it were pretty good. And this isn't because of Veganuary or anything else. Um, I just decided in the week to try and eat less meat because I was literally just having chicken every single night. I just thought, you know what? Climate change, I've heard that big impact can happen if, if we consume less meat. So I just thought, let's give it a go. Um, this is my meat-free evening meal. We have rice, Mexican rice. We have olives. We have jalapenos. We have cashew nuts. And we have feta cheese, okay? So that is my evening meal. It's meat-free. I'm eating that currently, Monday to Friday. I'm also on like a nutrition planks i'm trying to drop a little bit of weight so that is also a part of this but that's what i've been having i'm going to mix all that together and i'm going to show you the outcome and there we go there is the meal it's actually really really nice and it's great for digestion and everything like that i also add frank's red hot sauce to this because i like my food quite spicy but yeah that is the meat free meal we're going to wrap this video off here uh, i'm just going to give you your dose of Humphrey, who's right here, chilled out. Um, he's sporting his new Christmas collar there. Good boy. So we're gonna watch some Netflix. We're gonna watch the new series, Messiah. I think we've literally watched everything on Netflix. This has just come out, so we're gonna give Messiah a go. Uh, over Christmas, we binge watched uh, you season two, which was amazing and just crazy. We watched it in three days. We literally binged it, so we recommend that. But it is pretty mad. So, yeah, Netflix Messiah. I'm gonna give us a go, but we're gonna wrap this up here. We had an amazing scan earlier. Uh, literally, I've just felt so happy all day because of it. It was so so good. So we're really thankful. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Keep updated with everything, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.